Do a barrel roll. Action. I'm not going to talk unless you say action. Not going to happen. I'm Heidi Harris. Thank God it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday because this morning has been. You know, if people could only see, you know what they say, I think it was it, uh, I think it was Alan Stock once, who, and I don't know where he got this quote, but the, the things you never want to see made, sausage in a morning show. Oh, no. And you know this, since you're down the hall doing a morning <laughs> yeah. show yourself. Ransom is here. Our exactly. How are you? Ransom Palooza on Twitter. I am great. You're our official movie reviewer. And not just you are official. I mean, this is what you are a professional movie reviewer. People should know that about yeah, you. Yeah, this is what we do. Um, I'm a part of the Las Vegas Film Critics Society, and uh, we are gearing up for our annual award season we're uh, we're getting close to it when so. does that start october yeah it, we normally do our uh, our voting around november so okay. we're a couple of months out but this is around the time of the year where the movie studios actually start sending us some stuff and i mean it's impossible for us to hit every single movie so um you know some of these studios are just like well if you didn't catch this movie here is a screener tell us what you think about it consider us for an award yeah that's good well, that, mm-hmm. that always works okay so this week Blair Witch now when did the last Blair Witch movie come out 1999 that long ago I knew it was a while wow well, the original did there was a sequel that just was absolutely horrible but uh, I'm assuming that you were asking about the original yeah the original yeah um yeah you know the original Blair Witch project was uh was a movie that really changed the landscape of the genre of horror movies in itself I mean uh, again it was released in 1999 it started something that we call the found footage movie and after that movie came out we started to see them pop up all over the place it was just cheap imitations as always right it's like weeds yeah they were all over the place and another thing that the uh, original Blair Witch Project did is it changed the way that Hollywood thought about making movies at the time now at the time it was unheard of for a movie with a budget of sixty thousand dollars to go on to make over $140 million during its run in the theater. So, of course, Hollywood latched on to that idea. Okay, well, that's how we could really maximize our profits. How can we latch on to this? Let's find some smaller teams. You saw it happen, and and it worked really, really great with uh, the first couple of, uh, what were those movies? The Paranormal Activity movies? Right, uh uh-huh. And the first couple were, were, were good, and then the last couple were just really bad because I feel like they really lost focus with what that, genre is really supposed to be all right. about and then we have this movie so again we've seen a lot of found footage movies either being really good or some being really bad and regardless of how you feel about the original Blair Witch Project you can't deny the fact that it really did change the landscape of the horror genre in itself this one Blair Witch the one that's coming out today falls under the category of not being so good not Heidi. being so waste your time don't waste your time Bad. it was one of those movies where just everything felt dated you know and maybe oh. it is because of the fact that we have seen these seen movies it, done it. pop yeah. up yeah. over and over again but on top of that you know just everything about this movie was so disappointing the acting was not good and it's a bunch of kids that I've never heard of before but this is something that we've talked about on this show numerous times you know my biggest pet peeve in watching a movie is knowing that the people on screen are acting. Right. That's so true. You're not supposed to know that. You're not. You're not. And when it pulls you out of the experience, yeah. and from the get-go, these guys are just acting, and you never feel like they are actually their characters. Uh, the story, of course, is something that we've seen time and time again. And then, of course, uh, one of the things about this film is that everything is so predictable oh, as boy. well. That's another one of your 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 pet peeves and your list of pet peeves especially with horror because yeah. horror is one of my favorite genres what's and the thing you said the jump scene the predictable jump scene the what jump scares yeah, yeah the jump scares the this the that the, yeah. yeah and that's exactly what happens with this film as well you hear a shift in the audio oh, and you go. just know that something's going to be popping Brother. out or there's going to be a loud bang and again <laughs> and it, yeah. it's unfortunate because i love horror as a genre right and that's something that you know i feel like you and i have talked about so many times when a movie gets it right, it gets it right. We talked about one a couple of weeks ago with uh, with Don't Breathe. Yeah. And they did a lot of jump scares in that movie. But for whatever reason, it worked. You know, it worked in that film. But in this one, maybe because it is, you know, a, a supernatural force and you just know that it's kind of kooky and it's been done before, it just felt 
played out. Interesting. Now, you know, to your point, I just quickly looked at this up. You mentioned low budget movies that made a lot of money. Mm -hmm. One that comes to mind, and I'm not the expert like you are, Open Water, which I really liked. Yes. $500,000 budget. I just looked this up because I would not have known this. I knew it was a really low budget movie. 500000 to make it. Box office, $54 million. Oof. I knew it made a lot of money, and I knew it had a low budget. I did not know the numbers. Cha-ching! And that's, that was a really good, <laughs> because you don't know, the, if for those who don't know, the movie Open Water is about some people, a true story, folks who were on di- diving in the Great Barrier Reef and got left behind by the boat. Now, nobody knows what happened after they got left. No mm-hmm. one knows. Yeah. It's kind of like a perfect storm. No one knows what, ha- what they said to each other because they didn't make it, right? But still, they made a movie out of it. And it's interesting that sometimes they can have a movie, like you said, the original Blair Witch, something like Open Water, other movies that don't have a huge budget. If they're written well, they're acted well, and it's something unique, they can still make a lot of money. Yeah, and I think that's one of the reasons why I really liked the original Blair Witch is because when I saw it when it first came out, if you remember, a lot of people didn't really even know what it was because nobody had seen right. the found footage movies before. And to this day, you'll probably still run into some people who think that that movie was based on real events. They're just like, oh, that was a real story. I did at the time. Yeah, yeah like, at, was it true? At what, the time, really? yeah, everybody was asking that question. They're just like, is, is that real? You know? And, and like, if you're asking, though, that tells you all you need to know about people want to go see it because clearly it's believable. But it starts a conversation, you right. know? And I just remember, I, I was in high school when that movie came out, and it started that conversation where everybody was just talking, oh, my God, have you seen this movie? Have you seen this movie? It's unlike anything I've ever seen before, and it just it, it just kept snowballed. Right. You know, everybody wanted to see this movie that everybody was talking about i don't see that happening with this one yeah okay well so save it don't even bother with the red box no i would skip this movie entirely okay especially if you're a fan of the franchise if you if if you have you know personal feelings for the original movie you don't want to sully them with (laughs) with this one because this one's just not good at all and it's just it's going to leave a sour taste in your mouth all right don't bother with blair witch and thank you for not reviewing (laughs) bridget jones baby I don't want to talk about that stupid thing. I thought about it. I don't care about Bridget Jones' diary. I don't care about her baby. I don't care about anything related to Bridget Jones. So thank you very much for not doing that. What's coming up next week, Ransom? Next week, super excited. The Magnificent Seven, Denzel Washington, Chris Pratt. I love him. A great cast. It looks awesome. The trailers are fantastic. Um, I'm also going to try to make it to uh, the the, the new animated movie, Storks, which is made by the same team as the Lego movie. Okay. Excited. We'll see you next week, Ransom. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Ransom Palooza on Twitter. I'm Heidi Harris.